display your frequency and or relative frequencies in tables or graphs. We can also uh, display a data set in the form of a table or charts. This is a, a data set. We can use this data set to show how do we uh, tabulate a data set, also express a data set in a graph. In this uh, data set, we can first uh, count the number of times each value occurs and to generate uh, um, a table of frequency distribution. Um, for example, uh, two occurred four times, and three occurred three times. So this occurred how many times? Refer to the frequency. This is four, three, two here are all uh, called frequencies. So they, we tabulate the frequency distribution of this uh, uh, data set. Then we can generate a bar chart like this to show uh, visually the pattern of uh, frequency distribution. Obviously, it's very clear that the lower value tend to have a higher frequency and the higher value tend to have a lower frequency. Bar chart like this is suitable for qualitative variables or discrete variable. This example is discrete variable because the three, two, three, four are all whole numbers. We can also count how many people in the class have the name Jennifer, Sam, or, or John, and put those uh, uh, frequency in the, in the table or bar charts. Now, one thing you need to know that for a bar, char bar chart for qualitative variables or discrete variables, uh, those bars, between bars, they should be spaces. So they should not be adjacent to each other. Uh, they, they really should uh, pay attention to this. Then we can calculate the relative frequency and put the relative frequency in the table. Relative frequency is calculated by using the frequency divided by the total frequency times 100. For example, the uh, uh, frequency 4 for value 2 divided by total uh, frequency 12 is 33.3. That give us a sense of that for the value 2, it uh, accounts for a third of all cases in the variable. And the value 2 is very, uh, very important. Okay. So this is a percentage distribution referred to a relative uh, frequency distribution. We can also generate uh, a bar chart that show the relative frequency distribution. The only difference here is that the vertical axis is labeled differently. Okay. We can also uh, create uh, uh, cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency is the number of cases at and below a given category or value. Okay. And uh, for example, for uh, category for value four, for value four, the cumulative frequency is nine. This refers to that for all the values in this data set, at the four or below four, there are nine cases. So nine cases in this uh, data set that has a value at four or below four. So that's a uh, uh, give us a sense of uh, uh, cumulative frequency. The way you calculate the cumulative frequency is you add up all the frequencies below four up to this category, up to this value of four. You add up uh, three, three, four, and two, and that gives a cumulative fr a frequency for is the value of four. Okay, so this table will tabulate uh, cumulative frequency. Obviously, we can also generate a, a chart, a graph of a cumulative frequency, such as this. Okay. Then we can also calculate the cumulative percentage. Uh, for, uh, and this is basically to use the uh, total frequency to divide it into 
cumulative uh, frequency for example we can divide the uh, uh, total uh, frequency drop into uh, four that give us 33.3 percent we divide drop into seven that give us 58.3 percent we divide drop into nine that give us uh, 75 percent 75 percent means that uh, for all the values in the data set that have a value smaller than four and uh, and four they uh, account for 75 percent of all cases in the data set okay we heard the uh, concept of uh, uh, terms of uh, histogram histogram is also a kind of a bar chart but uh, also we use uh, this kind of bar chart to show to show the frequency distribution but histogram is a bar chart that shows the frequency distribution or relative frequency distribution for continuous variables and here we have a, a continuous variable we have the decimals that, that is the number of uh, uh, minutes that the people wait at the bus stop and this is a, a continuous uh, variable and uh, the way we calculate the continuous variable frequency is that we come up with some classes or intervals and we count how many um, uh, values fall in each of the uh, intervals for example between the in, in the interval between 2 to 2.9 so there's only one case there's one observation fall into this interval so the frequency for this interval is one then for the interval run between 4 and 4.9 five cases five individuals their minutes wait at the bus stop fall into these categories and this therefore this interval or this class this frequency is five and so we can count uh, the frequency for different uh, intervals by looking at how many cases following each of the intervals then we calculate the frequency that will come up with the frequency we can come up with the total frequency that the total number of the cases then also we can calculate the relative frequency cumulative relative uh, cumulative frequency and uh, cumulative relative frequency as we did for the uh, categorical variable okay. then we can produce a bar chart as we did for the uh, categorical variable or discrete variable with one exception now since when we come to produce a, a bar chart for continuous variable we basically is uh, divide this uh, number line into different uh, classes or different intervals and we count how many cases fall in each of the intervals but when we create intervals uh, all the intervals are adjacent to each other for example in this case uh, 2.0 to 2.9 next value after 2.9 is 3.0 from 3.0 to 3.9 this is the interval but the value right after uh, 3.9 is the uh, 4 so between 3.9 and 4 there should be no space that's why when we come to draw bar charts for continuous variables those bar charts those bars are all adjacent to each other like this one all these bars are all adjacent to each other because between 2.9 and 3.0 there should be no space therefore uh, all these bars for continuous uh, variables are all adjacent to each other this kind of bar chart has a special name the histogram so histogram is a particular kind of a bar chart that is for continuous variables they're all in the bars in the histogram are all adjacent to each other okay i hope this helps and see you next time goodbye